got it. And then we're go in the canopy. Here you go. Five meters. Virtual reality can really take us to a place and immerse us in the story of that place. We can show our audience the real feel of it, to meet the people who are involved with protecting it. We really wanted to push the boundaries of virtual reality filmmaking, and we did this largely through camera movement. We used the Jaunt One camera system, which is made up of 24 individual camera modules to create a 3D spherical image. So the idea is to win a place this big anaconda alongside the river, and we want to go with the camera on top of it so we can have this amazing energy of movement. It's a very delicate high-tech system that we're bringing in the jungle with us. Sound is by nature 360, so if you want to inform people where you want them to look, sound plays a very big role. So we set out to do a few iconic moves, the first of their kind, ascending and descending shots. We worked with expert tree climbers rigging pulleys and lines that would allow us to do these smooth, spectacular moves through the layers of the forest. One more. Yep. This, this tree is pretty perfect, actually, because it's an emergent tree, so it's shooting away above the canopy. It's going to be very smooth. Whenever you're ready, Tim, action. We took the virtual reality headsets with us to the Trio Indigenous community in Suriname. It was their very first time seeing VR, and they were as excited about this film project as we were. We had tons of high-tech equipment that we brought out into the shoot with us, but what was really amazing was what the indigenous people brought. You need a ladder, you need a backpack, they could build one in about five minutes. Good? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Their traditional knowledge is absolutely phenomenal and they were an essential part of the production crew. And action! Come on ya! This film gives you a sense that this is a real place. It has real communities that, whose lives matter. And it's got amazing wildlife. And that if we can protect it, we're not only protecting an incredibly important landscape, but we're also protecting our own future.